Live from Southern California, it's time for another episode of Cook Live with Chrissy and Dr. Christy. Turn on the oven, light up the stove, and get ready for another delicious recipe from our plant-based cancer-kicking kitchen. And without further ado, here are your hosts, Dr. Christy Funk and Chrissy Roth. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. It's episode nine of Cook Live with Chrissy and Dr. Christy. We're streaming live to you via Zoom, YouTube, and Instagram. And today, we're stirring things up with our super yum Kung Pao Wow Tofu recipe. So get your chopsticks ready. And as always, we promise this, this dish, dish delivers. delivers. For those of you who don't know, I'm Dr. Christy Funk, board certified breast cancer surgeon and your health warrior at allthingspinklotus.com. I'm Christy Roth, I'm a plant-based cook. I am a physical therapist. I've been into health and wellness my whole life and I'm very happy to be here because I love cooking with you. I know, <laughs> she's a holistic nutritionist and has I am. a wealth of knowledge. So one of the many things that um, we like to do here at Pink Lotus is to show you live, up close and personal in very simple, practical ways how every single time you lift fork to mouth, food, food is, is delicious, delicious medicine. medicine. Delicious, not like cherry flavored cough syrup, but like you really just take a bite of some broccoli and mushrooms and swallow it down and you're like, take that it's heart tough. attack. Like <laughs> I just know that it's delicious and you're feeding your body the things it so needs good. to make you the healthiest, happy version of yourself as possible. So first off to my Zoomers, where's everyone from today? Let us know in the chat. Let's see, GC, everyone's wondering if there's sound. That may be because I was pausing before I said hello. <laughs> I'm hoping. Um, if you can hear me then, I guess you'll be writing down where you're from. Yes, yeah, okay. I can okay. hear Los Yay. Angeles, Julia, Pennsylvania, Judy. I love it. See it. Everyone's ready. How about Deb? Where are you from? Oh, Christine. Christine, San Francisco Bay Area. Go, Sanford. Mary from Michigan. Betty Ann, you're always here. Where are you from? Yeah, thanks for being here, Betty Ann. I know. We always see you. SK Chambers, upstate New York. Ooh. Yeah, I spent a lot of time upstate New York growing up. Miranda, Alabama. GC from Utah. Debbie from Australia. Okay, you get the distance award, Debbie. Yeah, you do. Woo! Oh, there's Betty Ann oh, in New Jersey. New Jersey. Fantastic. Um, oh, so it sounds like there's not sound on Instagram. They're not hearing any sound on Instagram. Um, let's see. Who was. So. GC, you said you're listening on Instagram, but you're on Zoom. Is that correct? But everyone else on Zoom, I think the Zoom's fixed. Yeah, the, I don't, the Instagram. Dory, Orange County. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, say hi to my brother and my parents who are in assisted living down there. All right. Here we go. I'm ready to get my Kung Pao on. How about you, Christy? I'm ready. <laughs> I love Kung Pao tofu. <laughs> if you're cooking with us, remember, you can always use the interactive recipe checklist in cook mode. You just go to pinklotus.com forward slash kitchen, and you'll find today's recipe right at the top to get all the details for what we're preparing. But I guess it might be a little late to cook along if you're now <laughs> just going, <laughs> you should just have it the store, hurry up. <laughs> no, we'll wait, not. Um, <laughs> So we do have a small tradition here at Cook Live. We always start with a mocktail, with a drink, and today we're going to prepare our Shanghai Mai Tai mocktail. Shanghai Mai Tai mocktail. I know, you always Shanghai come up Mai with Thai the best names. I'd like to say I come up with the mocktail names. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that is all Christy. So I thought this would be fun and delicious because it's Asian, uh, and we're eating a Chinese meal tonight. So we've got our two cups filled, half filled with ice, and I'm gonna go to my interactive recipe. And now we're going to do okay. a half a cup of lemon lime soda. So here's the thing. I had lemon and lime, but not lemon lime soda. So I'm going to do um, oh, okay. a little lemon. A little lime half a of this. Lemon. Yeah, I'm going to do half okay. and half. So here's my lemon. And you can open the, yep. or this is the lime. And you. Then we're going to, you'll get that, put a half a cup in there, and we'll okay. do. I love mocktails. A half a they cup. They make me happy. They do because they're celebratory and fun and it makes for 
people who are trying to avoid alcohol but used to enjoy ding, it. Ding, it's ding. just exactly. healthy and safe. Oh. And no, I don't love it. Okay, I'll have you do the final half cup with OJ. Okie dokes. And then we got a tablespoon of, so we're making our own version of grenadine because grenadine is disgusting and maraschino cherries have high fructose corn syrup, also disgusting. So we're using, these are seasonal, and if your Trader Joe's has it now, I suggest you go and stock up. You yeah. told me a funny story. Yeah, um, we, my husband puts these in certain things that he makes, and we had them for a while, because they go a long way, because there's a lot in there, but he ran out, and he really needed them for something, <laughs> and we were searching everywhere for these cherries, and we ended up finding them. People stock up and like kind of hoard them, and then they end up on eBay. <laughs> For four times the price. <laughs> for four to five times the price. I mean, we found some for $30 for the, yeah, because like, people get desperate because what happened was over COVID, they were gone. They were just gone for like a year and a half or two years. So, uh, but they're back. They're back and there's a lot of them there. So it's, it's good. Okay. And then that's it. We're going to do a little stirring. And oh, we have Deborah joined from Kansas City, Missouri. Lovely. Hello. I'm going to borrow this. Oh, your football team is doing well, right? Is that the right Kansas? City team. I'm sure there is like <laughs> no other. <laughs> like, I know a little about football, very little. And then I we actually watched both games right last now. night to yeah. find out who was going to be in the Super Bowl. Yep. But we're super fair weather fans and yeah, actually don't, do. don't care As who wins. Tell. But then I get, I decide on a favorite and then I'm really upset if they lose. <laughs> As if I cared at all to begin with. <laughs> As soon as you pick, you're like all in, right. like screaming, yelling. Da, okay, da, so this da. is what we're going to, now we're on to garnish mode. Yes. It's already like super cute and I'm going to. Put this and this. And oh my gosh. Oh, I could no. be a bartender. That is Ta -da. great. Thank you. You are so welcome. Look how pretty this garnish is. Come on. I love it. I love it too. I love it. Oh, it's really in there now. Yep. Fishing. You know, the, the toothpick isn't long enough to bridge. That's right. So it's yeah. sinking. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Salute cheers. to cheers. Kung Pao Wow. Mm hmm. Oh wow, that's really, really, really good. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's no, that is so good. Truth be told, I made it up, and I've never <laughs> tried it, so I just made it up like an hour ago. <laughs> this is this is. We'll be back. So good. She was just. But it's that Hawaii trip you took. You were like in the. They got the vibe going. We did on. get the Mai vibe Tai. Going. The Mai, mm. It was my Thailand. We were that's so good in Oahu. I can't for stop. Right after Christmas mm. until. Uh, Yum. It was very long. It was a twelve-day trip. It was fantastic. All right. Okay, time, you begin. Okay, so we already pressed the tofu, and I know you, th this is the tofu oh. press. It's disassembled now, but this is what we pressed tofu with. I, I always recommend the tofu I just spit on press. you, by the way. It's <laughs> okay. This is funny. So, Andy, <laughs> show everybody. So, this was the beginning of COVID. Chrissy texted me, this is the best. It was the tikka, ma tikka masala. We've yeah. already made it. Yeah, we made it. The vegan tikka masala. Yes. This is the best recipe. And it, she was like hyper fixated on, you've got to shred the tofu. That's what makes it look like chicken. But you have to press the tofu. I'm like, okay, okay. So I was pressing the tofu and I had my tofu pressing. Um, there it is, Picture. as you can see. So I used a 20 pound weight. So I had my cutting board and then I put down uh, dry towel, paper towels, all the tofu, dry paper towel, dry towel, frying pan or a cookie sheet, and then a 20 pound weight. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm pressing the tofu. <laughs> and, she, and I'm looking at the picture. I'm like, what is she, what is she doing? I'm like, what is she sending? She's sending me a picture of her workout. I couldn't figure out what it was. And then I finally figured out that it was the tofu under all that. And then she's like, I am sending you something that's going to change your life. So some people like find Jesus or start <laughs> meditating. <laughs> she found this tofu press. Changed her life. <laughs> it did. <laughs> all right, let's go. It did. Well, plus, I like don't like wasting things and all the paper towels you go through or the towels, you know, like keep changing towels. Or you could just buy this extra crazy firm tofu and then yeah. you barely have to drain the it. The Trader like, really Joe's extra firm is the only one that really means it. it. All the is. others still need yeah, to be pressed. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That one is pretty fantastic. All right, so there's two ways of doing this. Um, I've done it torn, and torn ends up kind of really like with a chickeny type of uh, feel. But lately, I've made this a lot, and I've just been doing it with cubes, and my whole family seems to like it that way, so I'm back to cubes. If you're making it for someone that's not really crazy about tofu, cut the cubes small, because I've found that people that aren't that crazy about tofu, can they get, they'll get into it if it's this big, but if it's like a big block, it's harder for them to deal with. 
I'm talking about my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Judy, Judy um, you, you were observant. So pomegranate juice, because we just made up our grenadine substitute, I actually didn't have it. I went into my cherry, the amaranth cherry, and used the juice from there. So that was my substitute today for pomegranate juice. And I did put the monk fruit in. It was there. I was on, we were talking too much, so I just kept moving. But it was all in there, and it's so good. It's really I mean, crazy good. Minus the rum, I wouldn't even know that there, uh, this is so good. No, yeah, no, it's really good. I, I won't say it's low calorie, though. No, it's not. The monk, the monk fruit has no calories, but juice is, you've heard me probably lecture on, juice is not coming from the whole food. You're missing the pulp and a lot of the, all the fiber, and you are, especially if you're diabetic Sugary, or yeah. pre-diabetic, the sugar that's in these juices more rapidly goes across the intestinal barrier, spiking your sugar levels, spiking your insulin, so not exactly a health drink. But it's a mocktail, and if you were about to have a real Mai Tai and throw a bunch of rum in there, this is a great <laughs> sub. <laughs> it's a great <laughs> sub. It's really good. Oh, 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 Denise has never tried tofu. Denise? You're in for a treat. Um, you have to try tofu, but you have to make it the right way. So make this the right way. And then a lot of people get turned off to tofu because they have no idea how to cook it. They don't drain it enough and it's super uh, spongy so and mushy and yeah. yucky. And tasteless. It's pretty tasteless. It is tasteless. It's, it's all about the sauce that you put on it. So that's why it's important to uh, make it the right way. Or you can also buy, if you've never tried it, you can buy the one uh, that is already marinated. It's like in a, and you don't have to drain it at all. It's just like in a cube or a block. They have it at Trader Joe's. They have it at, uh, at uh, Whole Foods. And that's a good one to start with. But cook it. Like he, put it on a pan and kind of saute it around on the pan versus trying to eat it. So like don't eat it cold. It's not going to be very good. It's not that good. No. Okay. So I'm putting this on here. I did roast some of that barbecue flavored baked organic tofu yeah. that comes from yeah. Trader Joe's. And I put it at 450 in the oven and kept yeah. tossing it around every yeah. 10 minutes or so. I put it in there for like 30 minutes and added it to a Buddha bowl. And yeah. Ethan declared it the best tofu I've yeah, ever made. Yeah, it comes out great. Yeah. It really does. I, I love that tofu. Uh, the reason we're not putting it in here is because we're putting sauce in and it, it's that are, is already flavored. So for this, we're going to this a little. Yeah, these are like bouncing around on me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put it on here. And uh, there's, you can, Toss these in cornstarch first. They'll come out a little more crispy. I don't know why. I've kind of lately just kind of skipped that step, and I just spray it. I, I mean, I don't know about you, but like most recipes will call for tossing them in cornstarch first, uh, and they do come out a little more crispy. But for this recipe, I think they come out fine with just a little spritz. Right, that's kind of coming out. That's a little spritz of olive oil, yeah. organic olive oil. Um, I found lately, I've been doing my tofu, not the extra firm, but just firm and it's a little bit moist and I put it, cube it up and then I just throw a ton of nutritional yeast and a little bit of salt and pepper and put the lid on and tumble it around and throw it in there and I don't miss the oil anymore. Yeah, you could do that too. But this is great. Did you need the cornstarch for that? I'll just put a, No, I'm not going to do it. I oh, don't think not, we okay. need it. It's going to come out fine. I'm just saying like a lot of recipes where you're going to bake tofu, they will call for cornstarch and I think... You could use it, you can try it and see if you like it that way, or you could do it this way. I don't think I was like super clear about that, but that's what I was trying to say. Betty Ann, you can definitely use fresh orange juice. I just had some organic one from Trader Joe's because I did work today. Um, <laughs> so I got them just in time to do everything. Um, let's see, we got, yeah, I don't drink calories. Being a tiny woman, I can't afford, it's true. You have to be judicious with your calories, That is GC. absolutely true. I am too. Today was just a festive occasion, kind of like, it was, Recently, Chrissy's birthday, so it's her birthday drink. I don't use oil. What would you do instead? Great question. Air fryer is a great answer. Um, Lisa, so the air fryer, obviously still crisping up that thing in the corner. I yeah. use it all the time. Um, and I think I just answered that. I use a slightly moist tofu, and then it grabs onto nutritional yeast, salt, pepper, and then I, it crisps up just fine. Yeah. I, but you I think put it in with, You could high. put it in without oil. Um, I mean, we use we don't we generally don't cook with oil, but to crisp something up, we use a little, and sometimes we use a, ses a little sesame oil for flavor. But I sprayed it. I don't know if you saw what was coming out, but there, there's barely any. I mean, I I'd be surprised if there's more than a teaspoon or two yeah. of oil. Yeah, I mean, I was like, it's a tiny amount. I but sprayed you can a tiny bit and then rubbed it around. But if you don't use oil, try it without oil. And I think if you don't use oil, you, the air fryer is the way to go. Air fryer, or I figured out I just turn the oven literally as high as it goes, which is 550. <laughs> <laughs> 
You'd, think, you'd think you would torch <laughs> things and set the house on fire, but it just crisps the tofu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so um, we got it. All right, we already cooked our rice, so it was just two cups of uncooked um, organic, oh, brown rice. So it's very high in arsenic. Um, so the two lowest um, arsenic sources are organic, always, organic brown rice that either comes from California or Pakistan. It's hard to find the Pakistani rice, though. They have it at Trader Joe's. Oh, they do? Yep. Oh, that's new then. They didn't have that before. Okay, so we have a medium onion that we're going to cut into pieces. Yes. And we are. And did. in this case, we're going to water saute these because we don't need to use oil. Like in a saute, we never use oil. Yeah, so always have to. vegetable broth or water. Yep. That's all I ever saute in. Yeah. All right, so we're going to start with the onions and the mushrooms. Do you want me to bring those to walk take over for a second? Sure, yeah. Although I want to heat that up. Yeah. yeah you want to heat it first? Yeah, let's heat it. I'm okay. going to get a little water in there and heat it up. So. Uh, do you want the big burner on this guy, yeah, or the? Uh, yeah, more maybe the big burner. Yeah, thank you. If the rice is done, that's yeah, it's done. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a little water, so I can water saute. Or do you have any broth? Of course I do. All right, let's just do broth then. Um, and the difference is, it's just gonna have a little more flavor if you broth saute versus water saute. Right. Oh, it's in the back. Of okay. course, of course it is. Here we go. All right, yeah. Real good. I'll stand by. All right, so in doing this, I'm going to put the tiniest bit of broth in here. It's like a teeny tiny bit. Uh, and I'm going to wait till it sizzles. And then I'm going to add my mushrooms and onions. I, add them, I like adding the mushrooms first, too, because I think it flavors. Uh, it, if you add the mushrooms and onions, it gets that mushroom and onion flavor, mushrooms that kind of umami yeah. mushroom taste. Yeah. yeah. So I always add them first. And mushrooms, it looks like a lot of mushrooms and a lot of onions, but they cook down to like nothing. I don't know, if you make a lot of mushrooms, you realize that when you cook them, they, it looks like, oh my gosh, this whole dish is going to be mushrooms. And then right. you're like, it's done. You're like, wait, where are the mushrooms? I can't find the <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> what where are they mushrooms? there? So, so mushrooms, though, if um, you don't know, are extremely healthful as an anti-breast cancer agent. One study of Chinese women showed that those who consumed, this is what blows my mind, 10 grams of a white button mushroom, not fancy expensive chanterelle, portobello, oyster, no. The cheapy white button, the tip of your thumbs worth of white button mushroom a day versus no mushroom eaters, 64% drop in breast cancer. So mushrooms have a powerful aromatase inhibition property and that means it goes out into your fat cells and turns off aromatase, the enzyme that's taking adrenal gland steroids and turning them into estrogen. Estrogen feeds and fuels 80% of breast cancers, so too much of it is a bad thing. Mushrooms lower it, as does soy, another aromatase inhibitor. So we've got two in this dish. The other thing that's going in are the white onions, and we're gonna add green onions. And these are part of the allium family. The allium family, if I'm going to show you a graph. I love this study. It took 34 different vegetable extracts and dripped them onto assays of eight different types of cancer. Prostate, pancreatic, um, and breast was among them. So in this graph um, that Andy, my love, is going to put up for us, there it is. So if you look at this graph, you're going to see over to the left side, the control, that's water dripped on cancer. Nothing happens to it. Don't get too <laughs> discouraged, but some things in your typical American salad, like a little bit of endive lettuce, tomato, and carrot, actually somehow made the cancer grow. <laughs> it went above baseline. But the things in the middle, we've got our radicchio, jalapeno, potato, beetroot, spinach, they knock that cancer down, its growth by more than 50%. However, the heavy hitters are all the way to the right, and the last 10 are basically one of two things. Either your cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, bok choy, kale, arugula, uh, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, or your allium, onions, leek, garlic, shallots. Those overpower the cruciferous, but they're all in that end where you basically see that cancer has been totally annihilated by the consumption of these allium veggies. Both the allium and the cruciferous veggies um, are going to get sautéed up today, but then at the very end, we're just going to throw in a wee bit of raw onion that didn't go into the wok, and a couple florets worth of broccoli chopped into tiny pieces. 
Why am I doing that back on top of our dish? Because the enzymes that make the real magical phytochemicals powerful in your body, myrosinase in your cruciferous veggies and alienase in the allium veggies, like our green onion and white onion, are destroyed by the heat in cooking. So you're not having that enzyme convert the phytochemicals into the magical power that's so anti-cancer. But all you have to do to get all of the nutritious value out of your cooked veggies is add some raw stuff back. The raw stuff still has the enzyme, and then you do all of the conversion as if the whole thing had been raw. Christy, is it the same if you just munch on some of the raw stuff while you're cooking? Yes, okay. uh, while you're cooking, that's, yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, it has to be within, I would say, 20 minutes of the meal, otherwise okay. you miss out on the conversion. Okay. All right, what you got going on? I have mushrooms and onions that are cooking down. As I said, it looked Quickly. like a lot, now you can tell. It's like Is it gonna be too loud if I put the fan on? Probably. Yeah, probably. Okay. It's okay, I don't think we need it. So, oh, yeah. I love that smell. It smells so good, onions. and again, there's no oil in this. It's still, it looks like there's oil. They're coated, they're caramelizing, they're looking pretty perfect, they very if you, fragrance. So we do a lot of broth sauteing, but you do want to keep a watchful eye because if you <laughs> walk away to like really stick to the bottom of the pan and then yeah. you're bringing well, it Well, and in a stir fry, the whole idea, it's called a stir fry because I'm stirring, like I'm stirring it. <laughs> That's the whole thing. If you watch, if you ever had the pleasure of watching them cook Chinese food on a walk, it's like amazing because they're just like have that thing going and going and they're putting water in and they're swirling it and it's just always it's moving. True. It's pretty amazing. All right, I'm going to give you a break and I'll stir. Room. Oh, I lost a precious <laughs> mushroom. I'll so stir, sorry. and you can teach everybody how to cut okay. a bell pepper. All right, and again, this, there's no like perfect, there's no given way to cut a pepper. I just like cutting them like this. Uh, I go down the side, and then, because we're trying to get that white pithy part out, at which it's like that little line on here, and once you make your first cut, I can then see where it is, and I can just cut it so that I'm cutting around that. And those will be the only things that are still kind of hanging on here. So see the white pithy part still hanging on, but I'm not gonna throw it out at this point. I'm gonna, I would never waste that. I'm gonna cut the bottom off. I'm gonna cut the rest of the top off. And I'm gonna use every bit of this and get all the seeds out because you don't wanna eat the seeds. Okay, so there's that. And do the next one too. I don't know what I did here. Okay, I'm gonna do the next one here, cutting down. And I kind of picked the part where the white part wasn't, so there's nothing on there. And then, I don't know, this is just the way I do it. You can do you, can do you with the peppers, but I've always found this is like really helpful because once I cut it and then I'm having to get that white part out, I don't know, it just kind of gets on my nerves, so I like this way better. But some people aren't so picky. The NIH just came out with a study that looked at consumption of bell peppers and colorectal cancer, yep. and high consumers dropped their risk by 21%. There's nice. a lot of gr greatness in peppers. It's part of the whole family of foods that gives you beta carotene, lycopene, vitamin C, just all really important anti-tumor compounds that decreases angiogenesis, which is the birth of blood flow to tumors, and decreases um, uh, metastatic potential. This is starting to stick a little. Should I? Throw yeah, add a little more breath, just okay. a teeny bit. Yeah, I can smell it. <laughs> it's starting to. It smells delicious. I'm about to add this. So what? Did, uh, I have to read my own directions. So th Chrissy just said, "You do you with the peppers." My kids have taken to this new phrase. It's been about a good year now that they've been using it. <laughs> when anything. Ever Wait, did I just say what they say? <laughs> no, you didn't. You said oh. you do you. Oh, okay. Yes, but for example, the other last night. Two of them were assigned the dishes, and they weren't too happy about it, so they were a little rough with the dishes. And I heard one of them just like literally shatter. I didn't say a word, I didn't scream, I didn't even go look. And then I was just preparing for right now, <laughs> and opened up the cabinet and see a completely like shattered pile of glass. And I know, <laughs> I know that when I tell the boys like, hey guys, you didn't clean up the glass area that you broke that dish, this will be their response, inevitably. Huh, sounds like a you problem. <laughs> That's the thing. Anytime it's like they don't want to do something and I want them to do it, they're like, sounds like a you problem. It sounds ruder when I say it. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's not that rude. It's more, it's kind of funny. Well, because they're saying it joking, but, but, you, but it is a you problem. That's the thing. They're like, ha, it's a you problem. They, they, it's funny, and then they leave, and you're like, wait, how am I cleaning this up now? They're like, I'm not bothered by the glass, yeah. so... 
Okay, um, uh, let's see, you want to avoid rice grown on land that was, oh, it says you want to avoid rice grown on land that previously cotton was grown on. The pesticides on the cotton is in the soil and absorbed into the rice, um, i.e. southern United States. Good, I didn't actually know that. Um, right. Oh, so uh, GC puts cruciferic mi cruciferous microgreens on everything. Great idea. And then um, Judy heard from various whole food plant-based sources that brown basmati rice is the best. Lundberg is a brand that she purchases, um, also I from Trader Joe's. I do okay. have a Lundberg. Uh, no. I've had their, their grains no. before. It's good. Okay. Good. We need some more juice in yes. here. Yeah. So let's get those going for a little bit. Peppers cook up pretty quickly. Um, and then we decided to add some broccoli. It's not on the recipe, although I did, it, on the bottom of the recipe it does say, hey, if you want to add some other things like broccoli, carrots, whatever, go for it. So I add broccoli that. to anything and everything. Do you want to keep possible. a couple raw so you can have that? I already come. I'm good. Oh, you're good. Okay. Um, yeah, I just love broccoli and anything. I omitted green peppers from this, although it's kind of traditional in Chinese. Yes. Food. I just don't want to, I don't love green peppers as much as I do the colored ones. They're kind of bitter tasting to me. And of course, all peppers start out green and then differentiate into their colors. So the more okay. growth of the colored ones means they're sweeter. Unlike Do you want to start um, making the sauce? Because we're, sure. we're getting ready to put it in. Let's do it. I put the water for the arrowroot right next to the water. Okay. Let me show you. Three tablespoons of soy. We're going to do tamari because my friend here is gluten free. Thank you. Um, this is the water oh, for this. this. Thank you. Oh, that's why I knew we needed it. That's why I was wondering about the tofu with the cornstarch. I'm like, hmm. We have the cornstarch it's for this. Okay. Three tablespoons of tamari, one tablespoon of rice vinegar. We omitted the chili peppers because I am a super spice wimp. But I will tell you, that's bad news for me because guess what else is a spice wimp? Breast cancer. The capsaicin um, in these chili peppers is very anti-tumorigenic. But I can't really handle it. Yeah, the first time you cook with those peppers, just be really careful. Just use a tiny bit, unless you're used to cooking with them, because they're pretty, there's a, a decent amount of heat on them. Yeah, I'd be crying. Yeah. But the capsaicin, you know, it's in like Voltaren and those arthritic drugs. Um, it's, it's powerful anti-inflammatory stuff, but <laughs> it makes me cry. All right, so we put in our tablespoon of rice vinegar, three tablespoons of tamari. Now I'm going to do a tablespoon of hoisin, ve vegan hoisin. Be careful, because there's other ones that have fish in them. Uh, a tablespoon of maple syrup, a teaspoon of sesame oil. So let me do this. Well, I've got the tablespoon in my hand. That is and also gluten-free hoisin. We're going to whisk it together in a second. So just this tiniest bit, a teaspoon of sesame, it really makes this dish pop. So that's one of our exceptions is when like just the whole ethnic flavor of this dish comes to life with a little bit of the Yeah, I mean, oil. you can, uh, I said a teaspoon, like, you know, we decided on a teaspoon, but if you put a little more, it'd probably have a little more zing, but it's okay. Do, go with a teaspoon because we're trying to keep this as low oil as possible. So three tablespoons of water went into one tablespoon of cornstarch to make our thickening slurry. And now I'm going to whisk. Did you want the green onions? Yeah, I kind of throw them in last minute. But yeah, I mean, now would be good, actually, because it is last minute. It's almost done. All right, yeah. and then your sauce is ready. Okay. And the green onions, listen, if you're not a big green, green onion fan, don't cut them this big. We cut them big because they love green onions. And they're going to be eating it. You always consider that, too. It's like so pretty. Yeah, who's Whatever your you audience? Like. Who's your audience? Uh, your audience is Christy Funk, so we're not putting red hot chili peppers in there. <laughs> How's our tofu doing? Do we want to give me I a try, I just I just tried oh, one. Okay. Yeah, it still has a little bit. Little I mean, we can still put it in here. It doesn't matter if it's not. I don't think you'll mind if it's not crispy. The tofu gets good. It gets crispy in there, and then you throw it in here last minute. We can even crank up the heat a little. Let me do that. Okay. Chrissy, uh, crank it up. Chrissy and I are both like waste not want not kind of folks. So she saw the green onions in the corner and didn't realize they were my raw ones for the topping. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut some more. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> that doesn't matter. I had more. See, and so that was partly me because I love green onions cooked. I don't like them raw. Oh, but I love them cooked. Okay, you'll only get. But one. I know you get more nutrition raw. I get it. But okay. Yeah, just not my fave. 
What else? Oh, the capsaicin? Not just breast cancer, but the studies show prostate and liver were also dramatically reduced by wow. people who eat chili peppers. All right. So we're just walking away. Yeah, we're good. I mean, it depends on how well done you want your peppers. Do you see some of my bowl? These bowls, aren't I they like cute? They crunchy. hold the chopsticks in there. This is the first time I've been able to use them for actual Chinese food where you eat with chopsticks. Is the sauce done? It's done. OK, I'm going to throw it in so we can let it thicken up a little. All right. And let's see, any questions, guys? So we should only buy organic brown rice. Yeah, and then we had a conversation about that. I think you read all the rest. I heard from various whole food plant-based sources. Brown basmati, yeah. We said that. All right. I think we're all caught up on the comments. I don't think I put these in at all. Um, I did cut the seeds out of them. We, so yeah, I'm these gonna, are seedless. I'm gonna, I'm gonna so in. we're going to just put a, and the peanuts. a touch of heat. Put I can handle in. Believe it or not, I, I can have wasabi on my vegetable sushi, but. I think it's the seeds in the chili peppers that do me in, so she de-seeded it. Good. I'm going to serve the rice in here. And when you put this sauce in, it's always a good idea to turn the heat down a little because I was uh, stir-frying on a really high heat because the sauce starts to burn, and then it doesn't taste as good. It gets a little bitter, and that's kind of always the case when you're using any type of uh, soy sauce. Okay. The other thing is with the rice is white rice has less arsenic too because the arsenic is in the coating. So given that I eat a decent amount of rice, I often just will make white, ri white rice, which sa seems sacrilege, but I don't have it, you know, in a serving I'll maybe have a cup of rice. So I'm not cheating myself. And what I'm putting on the rice is usually so nutritious so healthy, yeah. that I don't feel, and I have, a, you know, I already eat a lot of fiber. I'm not going to get it from the brown rice. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to get hurt Much. by not having that's it. So so okay, that's it. Are you ready to throw it. the tofu in? Uh, yeah, let's throw the tofu in. Yeah, it's browned. It looks good. It looks crispy good. It looks crispy, yeah. Okay. I could probably just stick this off here without burning myself. Okay. So I got it. It's going in. Oh, it looks so good. Really good. Yay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Well, can we see this? Yes, you got a camera right there. Close up. <laughs> Here. So it looks pretty. It's really beautiful. Now we're gonna drape it over our bowls. Yep. All right. You wanna dish it out? Mm-hmm. Go for it. Oh, we wanna taste it first and make sure it doesn't need anything. Is it? Yeah. I mean, I don't think we're gonna. Need what are we gonna add? A little I always, I always taste it like before you take it out of the pan. While you're cooking it, always taste taste as you go, uh, just to make sure. Like, ah, oh, maybe I need a little more salt, so I need a little more. Uh, I'm perfect. Okay, good. Is there any heat? Can you taste the heat at all from mm -hmm. the? Okay, from the peppers. Yeah, we took the seeds out, so there's probably not going to be much heat. Don't eat that pepper either when you see the hard red pepper. <laughs> oh, believe me, I'll <laughs> be looking like for <laughs> it. Okay, there's right, yours, here. and we'll put a little garnish on top. Yeah, some onions and mm. some. Have some Kung Pao Wow Tofu with our Shanghai Mai Tai. I'll put the broccoli on there too. I mean, so we can get our, although I usually just eat the broccoli first. Okay. Okay. Here's your chopsticks. Yeah, there it is. Thank you. So pretty. Ready to try? Officially. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Yum. Mmm. It's a little hot, right? Yeah, it's hot. That's really good. Mm. Don't want to burn my tongue. Mm -mm. Oh, you might. Yeah. So I'm just going to. Okay. You like it? I love it. It's good. Oh, I, I should say too, these little peppers are hard to find. You can use um, chili pepper. You know that you sprinkle on pizza or whatever? Mm -hmm. You can use that in there for heat. You mean the That's red pepper flakes? The red pepper flakes, yeah. Not chili. chili Sorry, ch no, red pepper flakes. Um, you can use those in here, and they work great. And then you can kind of just sprinkle a little, taste it, put them in earlier so they flavor, because they'll, they'll heat everything up as they cook 
in there. Okay. Yes. So, yes. One time, <laughs> one time I was trying to make, I had this, I was making a homemade pasta sauce and I was in New York and I was cooking up this whole pasta for this family that I was staying with to say thank you. And I worked really hard on it. Like I went to different markets and got everything and it was like this huge thing. Sauteed all the homemade marinara all the way and then added all these veggies. And then the only thing I didn't buy, but I just was looking for some salt and I found red pepper chili flakes. And I had no idea that they were hot. I just knew I loved roasted red pepper. Oh my gosh. And I thought that it was just like tiny bits of dry. <laughs> I'm like, that's gonna taste so good. I kid you not, it was like Burr. Oh my gosh. And everybody took one bite and everyone was like, Woo! Like oh. we're getting water. <laughs> you know? it, like, everybody's sweating buckets, eyes that's crying. So funny. I was like, you're gonna miss me. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah. Well, and that is another uh, <laughs> reason you to taste your here. food as you go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because if you taste this and you realize, like, hey, it's not quite, maybe I want a little more salt, you can add a little more, like, tamari to it, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I think this is fine, so we don't need to. Okay. All right. Well, oh, we question? really hope. Oh, do we have any questions? Just looks How delicious. does the tofu get flavored? Oh, we dumped it in there last minute, and it got all the sauce yeah, all over it. it absorbed the sauce. Yes. But, or else you marinate it yeah. for a good 30 minutes in whatever you're wanting. Yes. Um, so we hope that everybody had a wonderful time with us today. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for the questions. Yes. We love the interaction. We have another awesome recipe planned for you, February 15th. So everyone have a wonderful Valentine's, and we will see you in just two short weeks. Yeah, a couple weeks. Bye. Be well.